We were very sort of into the fashion world of Kensington, if you can call it that. And Bieber was really one of the, the great places for fashion at that time. Underground fashion, you know, not haute couture in any sense, but the fashion of the people. Um, and part of the attraction of Bieber was that the girls who worked in there were so beautiful. And they were dressed just right, you know, they were well presented as well. And we used to just go in there to sort of enjoy the scenery. <laughs> I know Freddie did as well. And um, one of those ladies was Mary, it was Mary Austin. And I met Mary at a concert in Imperial College, my own college, and just sort of got chatting to her because she was sitting behind me. And I was pretty shy, but somehow I plucked up the courage to ask her out. And we went out a few times. She was very wary of anyone. And so we would generally just sort of go out for a drink and say goodnight and a little quick peck on the cheek, and that was it, really. We'd never really got beyond that. But there came a point where Freddie started to talk t to me about her, and he <laughs> it became obvious that Freddie wanted to go out with her. And I said, well, look, we're not really going out as such. You know, we're just good friends, so I'll introduce you to her. So I did. He would come in with... with um Occasionally, I think he was brave enough to come in on his own, but most times he would come with Roger or he'd come along with somebody, and he would smile and say hello in passing, which became quite often. And I think this went on for about five or six months, and finally he asked me if I would wanted to go out on a date. And it was a very... Um very emotional attachment for the two of them immediately, I know. Five months later, we were living together and we continued that for, I don't know, six years, I think. He'd had relationship with, relationships with girls, um, but looking back on it, I don't think his heart was ever in it, but with Mary, it obviously was. And they were very sweet. Very, I mean, they were like a little married couple. This was, this was, this was obviously true love. And it worked also, I think, because Freddie, like I said, was underneath very shy, and she was as well, and, and I think um, they were a good match. You know, I, I, I could see that. So I knew that this man wasn't at one with himself over something. I could see that he was feeling bad about something. Um, wasn't feeling comfortable avoiding situations, avoid, which wasn't Freddie. These, these things weren't, weren't the person that I first met. It was a relief, really, to, to actually hear it from him, to have surmised that that was the problem probably for the last two years of the six years that we were together. Um, certainly once that had been discussed, he was um, a different person again. He was like the person I'd known for the, in the early years. He was more at one with himself, more relaxed, more happy. You, you accept and somehow understand because you want the, the person inside to grow. And you, you're fascinated to see this, this, this person within um, totally at ease and at one with themselves. There's a great feeling, a great uh, almost euphoric of feeling that, that you are witnessing that the development is just and he gave so much so how could you not give yes I, I, to me it was a marriage she's my my common law wife we carry on now as, as like we were married so so it's marriage is, is a term for other people we believed in each other mm -hmm.